MacArthur Memorial and our Artifacts series. The MacArthur Memorial has thousands of artifacts on display. Each artifact tells a story and provides invaluable insights into our past. Today we're going to take an up-close look at one of these artifacts. Uh, today we're going to talk about the one of the six pens that Douglas MacArthur used to sign the surrender on the USS Missouri on September 2nd, 1945. This one is one of four Waterman's pens, fountain pens, and it was acquired by Brigadier General Courtney Whitney in Manila for MacArthur to use for the surrender before MacArthur goes to Japan on August 31st of 1945. And Whitney got these in Manila. Whitney was the guy who runs the guerrilla operations for MacArthur during World War II and later goes on to run the government section and really becomes MacArthur's best friend and his military secretary and is very closely related to MacArthur throughout the occupation of Japan as well as the Korean War. Now this pen, like I said, is one of four. MacArthur sits down to sign the surrender, and he has four of these, but then he also has his wife's orange duo fold, and he's also got a pen of Courtney Whitney's, which he will give to Whitney later. Now what makes this significant is when MacArthur signs, he uses three pens to sign on the English copy, the for the Allies, and then he uses three other pens to sign on the Japanese copy. Now, Behind him, when he signs, are Lieutenant General Wainwright and uh, Lieutenant General Percival, both who had just been liberated from prison camps uh, only days before. And they join MacArthur on the deck of the Missouri. And they stand behind him when he signs the surrender document. So after MacArthur signs the first document, with the first pen, he turns around and he gives it one to Wainwright. And then he signs the next segment, and he turns around and he gives that to Lieutenant General Percival. Now, the one Wainwright had is now at West Point, because when Wainwright bequeaths all his materials that he has before he dies, he gives them all to West Point. So it's on display there at the West Point Museum. The one from Percival goes to the Chichester Museum, which is was his regimental uh, unit uh, that he had belonged to throughout his career. And so that one is in Great Britain. Now the other two remained on the table. When Nimitz comes to sign, Admiral Nimitz, who's head of the Pacific Fleet comes to sign after MacArthur, he has his own pens, and so the pens stay on the table. But yet when Sir Admiral Bruce Fraser comes up, he also has his aides behind him when he signs, and he wants to emulate what MacArthur did. So he uses this pen and another Waterman's fountain pen, and after he signs, he gives those to his aides. But MacArthur wants these. So after the ceremony's all over with, MacArthur has his uh, guy who set up the whole surrender ceremony. It's a guy named Herbert Whipple. He's a colonel and served with MacArthur throughout World War II. And he tells Whipple to go to those two British aides and get back those two fountain pens that Fraser had given them. So this is one of them. And the other one is on display in the MacArthur Memorial in the Surrender Gallery. So we know where all the four Waterman's pens are. The one that was the orange dual fold, which MacArthur signs and gives to his wife, Jean, later gets stolen out of the Waldorf Astoria apartment where she lives till the end of her life. She dies at 101. The other one goes to Whitney. Uh, Whitney's the guy who had acquired the four Waterman's pens, and MacArthur signs with Whitney's pen and then gives it to Whitney, and that is still with the Whitney family. So five of them, we know what happened to them. The one with the Whitney family, we think is still with the Whitney family. But this is one of a very significant piece of MacArthur history once again.